Hello friends. Firstly, we appreciate each one of you for the immense response. From the registration link loaded online recently, we have received about 115 requests or entries from 34 countries. You can see here. I wish to rephrase it like you are one of those few people who actually want to learn and contribute in one of the world-class stable research atmosphere in Japan. We hope that our efforts will really be helpful to secure your next scholarship for your higher studies in Japan. Without further delay, let me introduce myself and the speakers for today. I am Murugesh, a member of founding team Nimble Prerena India. It is a platform initiated very recently by aspiring young people from various backgrounds with the objective to support in securing internship opportunities, scholarships for admissions, and some more topics to ignite the aspiring youth across the country and the globe. Firstly, I wish to thank our speakers, Ms. Ta and Mr. Gaurav Kumar for coming forward to assist and help the aspiring students for max scholarship under university recommendation. Ms. Ta from Myanmar will be joining for master course at Hokkaido University. Mr. Gaurav Kumar from India will be joining for master course at Kyoto University of Advanced Science and myself will be joining for PhD program at Hokkaido University. At the end of this webinar, you will be getting understood the following topics. Basic application process, preparation of documents and research proposal, finding relevant research groups across universities, writing up mails to professors, interview guidance and tips, followed by results and the deadlines for final confirmation. Along with the queries which we received during the registration online. Now, I welcome Ms. Ta to deliver the topic, basic application process, preparation of documents and research proposal. Let's welcome Ms. Ta. Hello, my name is Tora Wong. Uh, I'm from Myanmar. Uh, I got a scholarship for the 2020 MEST University Recommended Scholarship for Hokkaido University. And so now I'd like to share my experiences that uh, how did I apply for my previous 2020 MEST University Recommended Scholarship. So before I start, I would like to thank to Nimba Prerena for creating this very useful scholarship tips. And uh, so I hope that, that this will be very helpful in some way to the scholarship uh, seeking students. So uh, I will talk about the basic application process. Uh, it includes the applications of the documents and the research proposal. So uh, in the case of the application process, now we need to prepare the documents and research proposal. So uh, the first thing uh, what I used to do is uh, I always check the, my, uh, my interested university website uh, because in that uh, we can see the scholarship announcements and application period uh, because uh, I used to uh, subscribe some, uh, some university scholarship uh, notifications but I think that sometimes, uh, sometimes the information may reach later uh, to us uh, so I think that it is the best way uh, to check the latest university website. So uh, please always check the interested university website. The second is that uh, it will be very helpful if we read the overall requirements that they have in the preparation uh, that we can uh, collect the documents ahead of the uh, deadline and also uh, we will not rush one year the deadline. Uh, the other thing Yes. The, the other thing is that additional to the MESD form, uh, some university uh, they ask to fill the online form. And so in that uh, e-form, uh, they will show the list of the documents uh, that we need to fill in. So they even allow to fill the completed documents in any order. So we can love the incomplete one uh, and also we can also complete again the incomplete one. Uh, so the last thing is that 
please uh, try to finish the documents preparation and submit the scholarship form uh, ahead of the deadline because uh, in my own experiences uh, because there may be some technical problems or why filling or submitting the form so they can lead to distress and also worry and also they can make them mistakes uh, in my case i always used to submit the scholarship forms uh, at least three days before of the deadline so I search uh, for the websites about the university recommended scholarship. So they give to the research students, master, doctorate, and also the Japanese study students, and also the College of the Technology. Uh, I prepare some of the basic requirements uh, for the MESD. Uh, however, the additional uh, documents may require uh, that may differ from one university to another. So this is my general requirements. The first thing is a MSD application form. Uh, so as I described earlier, uh, in some university, we need to fill the additional MSD form. Uh, where that uh, we need to fill in the online form. Uh, it depends on the type of the program, such as uh, for Hokkaido University, I apply uh, English Engineering Education Program ITU. In that case, I need to apply. I need to fill in the ITU form. Uh, one of the language proficiency, uh, most of the university, they ask for this, uh, they accept IELTS or TOEFL or TLPD school. And also, uh, uh, and then also various levels of proficiency skills are required depending on the university. For some Hokkaido university, uh, they accept uh, if we have the LS IELTS uh, SIS. Uh, uh, in that case, uh, no for all university. Uh, for Hokkaido University, uh, the E2 program, uh, they ask for the original IETS document. Uh, so we need to take care that uh, in that in that period, uh, there may be uh, uh, December holiday and Christmas holidays. So there may be some difficulty when we ask for the original document to the IETS test center because they may close. They close because of the uh, Christmas holidays and December holidays. So we need to adjust the time. Uh, so the other one is the official academic transcripts of their previous studies. Uh, they also ask for the official academic transcript of the uh, 18 programs. And so in my case, uh, I need to request for the original academic transcript uh, from the 18 program from another country because they did not accept the online digital exam process. Uh, some university they also ask for the document of the university grading system. Then we also be as uh, official graduation certificates, uh, spread of previous graduation thesis and publication, uh, field study and research, one of the recommendation letters. So in that case, depending on the university, one or two recommendation letters may be asked for. So uh, some university they, they they also limit their, their recommendation letters must be from the president of the rector, uh, but some university uh, they accept from the pro rector dean or professor, uh, sorry, so uh, teachers, employees, etc. We uh, they also need a scan passport and also passport type photo. Uh, some university such as you know Yokohama University they ask for the CV form. Uh, also, the, the Yokohama University, they ask for the academic performance entry sheet, uh, the format already given, as the ASA file. Um, the, the ranking certificate from NECLAS at the university is also asked for, uh, such as Yokohama University, uh, also the Hokkaido University, they ask for later, for example, if we pass the first uh, screening, uh, screening result, and we go for the another, uh, another step. So the original documents are also uh, require to submit for the uh, finally selected student. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the the successful uh, applicants, uh, because the university will recommend to the MEST. So, uh, in my case, I apply for the Hokkaido University. Uh, they call for the scholarship uh, during the uh, 16th of December uh, to the 5th of the January. Uh, during this time, I need to submit the MEST form and also the EU online form. Uh, and also, I'm, uh, I have to I have interview with my supervisor. Uh, there is no previous time uh, for that uh, for that interview because uh, the the most of the Japanese students are very busy, so they were only contact um, yeah the interview. Uh, so before the first result, forty of February, we need to submit all of the completed. Uh, so sometimes they may ask for the, the additional required documents. So we need to submit all the required documents before the first result. 
So in for you February, uh, they announced their first result. If we are selected for this, we go for the second uh, screening process that includes an interview. Uh, there are three persons uh, that are the board of the nomination committee of the uh, each of the university that were nominated for the um, they were nominated for the MESD. So there may be uh, uh, there may be some changes in the numbers because I described in case of my Hokan University. So uh, submission of the original documents are also. Uh, we need to do uh, that, that can be there in the second of the march so finally in the fifth of the march uh, they find their selected applicants uh, they are also being notified and also they, uh, they are asked to apply for the university admission by online so finally uh, the final confirmation by MBSD yeah, is being announced uh, approximately uh, around the first week of the July but the days may be subject to change so, uh, in case of the field study and research plan, uh, there are three categories. Uh, so, the first one is past and present field study. So, uh, as the students, uh, in my case, uh, I describe about uh, what is my current study major, the subjects for undergraduate, uh, maybe for PhD, uh, master level. Uh, and also, why in this thing, the subjects, uh, I, I describe, I prioritize the subjects that are related to the proposal to the MESD. I, I explain why I was interested in those subjects yeah, that may also relevant to the proposed B study, uh, describing about the previous studies and the midpoint, what theoretical and practical I got from them, and there was support to this current proposed field study. Uh, for in the case of the other spe specializations, uh, for example, your science student, uh, they, they need to uh, have skills. For example, they will attend their GIS training and yoga training and what knowledge regarding the handling of the laboratory machines uh, that were used in the proposed field study area, for example, SRF, SRD. So, I also mentioned uh, some field area related experiences such as uh, what I study from HA programs, uh, forums, projects, volunteering. So uh, from that, what motivation and critical thinking I got from them that lead to this uh, most exploration. Uh, so I explain about the current impacts on the society, for example, in dealing with my proposal. Environmental impact awareness, environmental awareness is very important in my country. So mostly I mentioned uh, sometimes uh, some, some information in detail but some in general. So by adjusting the previous present studies uh, which are relevant to their proposed field study. So the second one, you are research topic in Japan. Describe, uh, we need to describe. Uh, uh, so uh, this is uh, before uh, we think about the uh, before we think about the research topic. We need to find about the research fee. Uh, for example, uh, it is a good idea. Uh, we knew we have reference uh, from the supervisor. Uh, his interest, his research fee, his thesis and publications of the previous of the previous students uh, from this department. So uh, this can help you in, in thinking about their research topic and also uh, the idea now for this proposal will not deviate from the boundary of the related of the related fee area. So uh, the research topic must include uh, must include the key point but uh, for the <coughs> Some specialization for some uh, for theology, uh, they need to uh, we need to do a uh, free area, free trip, and also the laboratory work. So we need to uh, choose the free area either in our country or in Japan. So we need to choose this. Uh, in the, uh, there are also some cases applying for different field of study. Uh, for that means that the current purpose of your study uh, is different from um, the bachelor or master degree. Uh, in Japan University, and uh, so in that case, we need to uh, we need to put much effort. For example, uh, we need to uh, uh, we need to find so uh, some much information. We need to if, if, we need to find some information. Uh, on the other hand, for the same fee of the study, uh, we will have the more chances that we will clearly uh, we can clearly uh, explain the problem. Also, we already have the enough evidences uh, for this problem, and we have enough uh, knowledge uh, how to approach the hypothesis based on previous knowledge of the study. So they were not, they cannot deviate from such key points in writing of the proposal. So uh, the proposal must be concise, coherent, and main point. So describing the hypothesis, problem, goals, and method. So uh, I introduced about the topic, field study, and free idea location, explaining about why I choose it. Uh, and also, I describe about 
current situation in my country that why the problem is need to be solved and how we play as an important role in this proposed area and, and how this research will helpful in this academy of in particular applications. Uh, also, I point out that, uh, that uh, how much it will be effort uh, what, um, to my country's economy and society and their environment. And also, uh, the third one is the study program in Japan uh, that uh, we need to describe in today. Uh, because uh, in that case, uh, I will describe my uh, my experience in general. Because uh, I described a uh, short introduction about my study area, uh, explaining what are the significance of the problems. Uh, for example, water contamination affects local people. Now, so we need to uh, find the source. Uh, how uh, investigation of the source of the problem? Uh, what happened uh, to this problem? And also, how to approach with proposed method? Uh, so. In the case of the procedure also of the methods uh, uh, for the uh, science student, for example, uh, geology, yeah, there are field work and the laboratory work. We need to do that. Uh, so we need to explain these uh, in step by step. For, uh, so for the field work, uh, we will do the collection of the samples from the field area, uh, something like that. And also what we will do in the field, uh, that may be explained in detail in key points. So uh, the other one is the laboratory work. Uh, that uh, which analysis will be done and which laboratory equipment and machines will be used and why they will be used and and, uh, and so how to analyze them. So sometimes uh, we may add the literature review. So we may add the equations, figures, and reference diagrams, Davis. Uh, if they are needed, in my case, I added the figures uh, that are very important to my proposal. So uh, in, in finally, the discussion uh, which will be based on the previous free and laboratory result. Uh, based on the previous one, so we also find the ways uh, how to evaluate the result. Um, that line I mentioned the related theory and equation and how to evaluate it. Now, so um, some evaluations that, that I need to do after I call from the laboratory equipments and also the measurements that, that I still need to do in the future. So uh, these are the general idea. <clears throat> so before that, uh, now this is the this will be a first day for the. One point that I always used to discuss with my teachers from my uh, home university uh, in my country, Myanmar, because uh, because uh, there may be a Japanese uh, professor, uh, they are highly professional and they are very expert in their research area. So uh, some technical errors and some uh, uh, some an inappropriate usage, uh, let's say, it, 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 it is not. Uh, good for the uh, proposal. So I always uh, I always uh, discuss with my teachers. Um, I prepare the I prepare the writing and I prepare the reference. And also she advised and she gave suggestions. And also sometimes incorrect um, uh, for the same technical terms and the same technological terms. So it is the best idea to discuss with the teachers uh, for for the related area. So this is just my sharing my previous knowledge. Uh, so the other one is the name of the university and the deadline. Uh, uh, we have listed that we prepare for. So here is the list of the uh, university and the deadline. So we can see that uh, the application period starts from the uh, during October, November, December, January. So we always need to take care about the university deadline, uh, university deadline and scholarship period uh, to directly to the check directly to the university website. Uh, this is because uh, we can we will never miss the never miss or uh, we will have the full time to prepare for my MESD for our MESD form. So this is my sharing my uh, previous uh, previous uh, experiences and there may be some detail inform there may be some requirements and uh, some maybe uh, so this is just my sharing. Yeah, so, so thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Tao, for the wonderful presentation. You have nicely presented and shared the detailed required information for a typical applicant. Thank you.